Good afternoon. Um, today is Monday, June 26, 2023. I received a word from the Lord at 10.55 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is specifically going to be for those who refer to themselves as children of God. But first, the Lord wants me to read from Psalm 145. Um, this is David's Psalm of Praise, and I'm going to be reading from the King James Version. I will extol thee, my God, O King, and I will bless thy name forever and ever. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise thy works to another, and shall declare thy mighty acts. I will speak of the glorious honor of thy majesty, and of thy wondrous works, and men shall speak of the might of thy terrible acts, and I will declare thy greatness. They shall abundantly utter the memory of thy great goodness, and shall sing of thy righteousness. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger, and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. All thy works shall praise thee, O Lord, and thy saints shall bless thee. They shall speak of the glory of thy kingdom and talk of thy power to make known to the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Thy kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and thy dominion endureth throughout all generations. The Lord upholdeth all that fall, and raiseth up all those that be bowed down. The eyes of all wait upon thee, and thou givest them their meat in due season. Thou openest thine hand, and satisfiest the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways, and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh Bless his holy name forever and ever. As always, I encourage you to not take my word for it today. Test the spirits. Take this back to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the secret place. You are to test the spirit by the Holy Spirit. And also, you can speak to God through his word and receive confirmation there as well. So this is what the Lord said, children of God, a separation has been taking place. I am giving those who honor me with their lips, but not their hearts over to a reprobate mind to do things that ought not be done. This is the great falling away, the apostasy. Some will seek me with their whole heart and find me again, but it will not be easy. Their depravity threatens to overtake their mind and heart. Their apathy and hard-hearted rebellion will resist the thing they need the most, relationship with me. This cannot be a half-hearted approach. They must be desperate. A broken and a contrite heart I will not despise. They that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, but that cry must come from a place of repentance. The truth is many have lost their desire for my word, being unmoved by praise and worship, detached and apathetic to the things they once claimed to love so much. Love is not just the words you speak, but the actions behind them. If you love me, you will obey my commands. Would you stay wedded to someone who continuously and knowingly caused you grief, showing no remorse? I am grieved every day that my people are choosing the temporary pleasures of this life and their sin over my sacrifice and eternal promises. For what will you benefit if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? 
The wages of sin is death. I paid the wages in full so you would not have to. I took the punishment upon myself to free you from the law of sin and death. My grace breaks the power of sin over your life, but not apart from me. For what can you do without my help? I empower you to defeat sin, to overcome it by the power of my spirit. You cannot overcome temptation by your own will. That is a losing battle. But with me, all things are possible. Is anything too hard for me? This will be a time of great testing to determine the quality of your work. Many of you who claim to be mine will be exposed. Your secret sin will be brought out into the open. I will expose the true nature of your heart. It will be laid bare for all to see like an open book. What's done in the dark is coming to the light. Will you hide from me? Or be cut to the heart and cry out for forgiveness? Will you carry your cross or throw it down the moment trouble comes? I refine you in affliction. I purify your hearts in the furnace I promised you would suffer for my name's sake and told you to rejoice in your suffering. Suffering is part of your development as my disciple. Shall you be mine and never go through any trials? you would never grow. There would be no transformation. Without faith, it is impossible to please me. I am growing your faith through moments of doubt and uncertainty. You must learn to rely and depend on me for everything. Pray without ceasing for my will to be done. Pray for my burden to become your own and to be grieved by the same things that grieve me. Pray for me to circumcise your heart and renew a right spirit within you. Pray for a heart that submits, a heart that yields and responds to my leading. Pray that you will come forth as gold and look nothing like the fire you just stepped out of. Pray for daily fillings of my spirit. Pray to lose your desire for the things of this world. Pray to endure to the end. Those who have fallen victim to a reprobate mind, pray for their zeal to return. Pray for supernatural strength from the throne room. Pray for divine intercession. Pray for an increased hunger and thirst for my righteousness. Fight for those who are having difficulty fighting for themselves. The prayers of the righteous are powerful and effective, but not if you stay silent. You must be persistent. You must plead for mercy on their behalf. The road to destruction is broad and many have chosen its way, but narrow is the way to eternal life and few find it. Few meaning a remnant. They shall be counted as worthy and walk with me in robes of white. They shall share my inheritance. No good thing will I withhold from them. Goodness and mercy will follow them all the days of their life on the earth. They will prosper in the land of the living. Everything I have is theirs. I will establish the work of their hands and they shall see my glory face to face. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. 